Hello friends, welcome. Today we embark on another adventure to the breathtaking land of North Vietnam. So join us as we traverse the stunning terraced rice fields of Sapa and the bustling colorful streets of Hanoi, to the majestic limestone casts of Halong Bay and the tranquil waterways of Ninh Binh. Each destination a marvel in itself. In case of water evacuation, remove the life jacket from the town. It can also be banned with the insulated flight. Taking an overnight flight towards the east has at least one benefit. You can enjoy a beautiful sunrise. So this is our first glimpse of Hanoi, which is a small but efficient airport. The airport is not crowded at all. Immigration takes hardly 5 to 10 minutes and you can collect your bag and be out of the airport in less than half an hour. Our first destination is Sapa, a beautiful hill station 6 hours away from Hanoi. So this is the sleeper bus which will take us to Sapa. You can judge from the color of the sky how clean and unpolluted the air is. After a brief halt, we resume our journey through the countryside, passing beautiful vistas and lush rice fields. And soon enough, we were climbing up the mountains. Vietnam's progress is clearly visible in its infrastructure. Finally, after a long journey, we reach and check into our beautiful hotel. The hotel blends luxurious French colonial design with colorful local ethnic influences. Stay tuned for a detailed room tour and a property tour. And this is a view from a balcony.
and after a brief rest we went about exploring sapa thankfully our hotel was in a central location so everything including the markets the local town square etc were all in walking distance This is the Sapa station from where a funicular train goes to the Phansipan peak. The Phansipan peak is not just Vietnam's the whole of Indochina region's highest peak. It is called the roof of Indochina. After some exploration on foot, we rented a bike to go to the Cat Cat village. Cat Cat village is a popular trekking spot and is home to the ethnic Hmong tribe. It is 3 kilometers from Sapa, nestled in a beautiful valley. The Hmong ethnic group is popular for its colorful attire and traditional lifestyle. This is the funicular railway track going towards the cable car station. In Cat Cat village, you can see the traditional living style of the Hmong tribe, including houses made of bamboo and wood. When we had reached, it was already closing time and the crowds had all vanished. You can buy locally grown food, textiles, handicrafts, jewelry and other stuff on the local market. There are some beautiful cafes where you can sit and enjoy your evening coffee. After a little bit of trekking, we reached another very beautiful spot, the Cat Cat Waterfalls. The whole place was so surreal, surrounded by lush green mountains, straight out of an Indiana Jones movie. During the day, this whole place is teeming with tourists. There is an event stage for cultural and musical performances. You can interact with local tribal artisans and see and learn how they make their handicrafts. But during the evening, this entire wonderland with all its beautiful photo spots were exclusively reserved for us. We could have spent hours more there, but it was getting late and we headed back to Sapa. It was a long first day in Vietnam and we didn't want to experiment. So we settled for an Indian restaurant. Goy, how are you feeling? You got Indian khana? After dinner, it was time once again to explore the local markets and the nightlife. The whole town was so beautifully lit up, like it's Diwali every day.
Just besides the Sapa Lake are some of its most popular eating joints. The hot pot here is a must try. On weekends, there is a free public cultural performance show where you can find not just tourists but locals also enjoying their music and dance performances. Finally, it was time to head back to the hotel, but not before enjoying some more sights and sounds and trying some more local street food. That wraps up our first day in Vietnam. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.